Hey everybody, Carried American Arbitrage here, and I just got a call for my estate sale, guys. I am going to an estate they just bought out today, and I'm gonna help them primarily get rid of some of this furniture that they bought fast. I get 50-50 of everything on the furniture, put it on Marketplace for them, or through other methods. Also gonna look for some eBayable items that they may have this estate, so we can make some money that way as well. 50-50. No money out of my pocket. I just use my work and my time and make some money. Let me tell you kind of how this works with them and why it's been successful so far since I've been doing it for about the last three or four months. So I've known these gentlemen for years. I've bought from them at the flea market and also locally. They've come to my auctions when I've had auctions. And they started doing estate buyouts and they had a couple problems. One of the major ones being is they had a lot of furniture that they had to get rid of quick. They had to clean out these estates sometimes in days. And what I would do is come in using Facebook Marketplace or, or Facebook in general and sell the furniture for them. Um, and that way they didn't have to, you know, take nothing for it or haul it around or take it to an auction and get nothing for it. Um, so I help them with that. A lot of times it's 50-50 and they make more money and I just get money for, for using my time and my knowledge on the subject. And another thing was eBay. They're putting a lot of stuff through auctions that, you know, live auctions that they're not making top dollar on. And I've been doing this forever. I have a good eye for stuff. So I pick out the stuff that I think is worth putting on eBay. And oftentimes they make more money getting 50% of the profit than they would have made, made selling it on their own. And I get 50% of the profit as well. So it's a win-win. Tag along with me and let's see what I do. The estate was about 20, 25 minutes up the road in an older home, probably from the 50s, 60s. So I just got here. The downstairs is loaded with collectibles, a lot of sealed DVDs. Up here is mostly going to be furniture that I'm going to work on. Um, put up this piano. Like I said, 50-50. Couch is pretty torn up. Um, let's see what else we got. We got this table here, this couch little chair I'm going to do, this corner cabinet, two of them. I'm going to sell those 50-50 like I said. Let's go up down here, see what we get. This bed I will post. This is really nice. They were asking at the estate about 225 It's a little much. I'll probably ask about 125 150 for that. Next up, we got another little bedroom set. And then we have this dresser. A whole bunch of these little cubby settee seat things. Not bad at all. Another chair to do. I'm also going to go through all this stuff, all these trinkets you see here, and see what's worth putting on eBay and what's not. There's a ton of sealed DVDs downstairs as well. Mostly have 10 days to get out of this one, so I'll have a little time to sell this stuff locally for them. A bunch of stuff like that. Really cool Vintage chair. That is a nice shrunk is what they call that. I mean, they were probably asking a bit 150. I mean, we can get rid of that. What up? They can get rid of that pretty easily for, I can get rid of it rather for probably 100, 125, maybe a little less. Here's some cool stuff I just saw. I mean, this stuff usually doesn't go for a ton. Made in China, unfortunately. I might still be able to make a little lot out of it, so I'll probably take that because there's like four of them. There's this snow maiden plate laying around somewhere. Let's see, there's, I think the guy's old passport. We don't want that on there. Got some train stuff, Tyco, a whole bunch of train track. That's definitely stuff I'm gonna take and lot up. Some camera stuff, not bad. You know, not amazing stuff, but a lot of this will be lotted up or otherwise. Stay tuned, I'm kinda just perusing the place, seeing what we can do. Stinker. He was a stinker, $45, I really, I think these might be those snow ma maiden plates, are they? Yeah, snow maiden plate. So if you follow me to this other room, here's the certificate. This is kind of sometimes what you have to do. A little detective work. Thought I'd turned you around. Um, collectible plates in general you want to stay away from, but you know, this is pretty cool. And when the, you know, investment is zero and they've already bought the estate and I'm sure this is just going to be ex extra money for them. Let's get as much as we can for everybody and do as well as we can. Looky here. This is kind of cool. Superior Star Printing Press. Sorry, I don't have one of those fancy GoPros yet, so I want to put you. Um, I was going to put you on the floor, but I can just edit this, so 
Look at the music, man. Way cool. Way, way cool. I don't know what this is worth, but we're going to find out right now. Now, through the magic of eBay's sold listings, we see one that went for 50 Wow. Five dollars, pretty roached. Um, here's one with the box. Forty bucks plus shipping. I think that's what we should expect. Just right by that star printing press, we have a Magnavox uh, DVD CD player in the box. I'm imagining. Let's check that out. Yeah, still brand new. So, you know, they wanted twenty. That might have been a little low. So, let's see what that's worth. As well, don't worry. <laughs> Sounds like KDL are brand new. Didn't you saw the old picture on the wall? Yeah. That is an old picture. Oh. That's oh, crazy. Yeah. It is. There's probably what? 50, 60, 70 so far that are sealed? The great? Zigfield? Zigfield Follies? Yeah, that one isn't sealed. Zigfield Follies, isn't that the, uh, uh, what do you call a brothers? New. New. I don't know. Copying yeah. Beethoven. Now that's some, um, Serious sci-fi. Yeah, that's some vintage sci-fi right there. Clark Gable, oh. Ava Gardner. It's a nice little corner cabinet. For, put all your kitchenware. A matching set right here as well. Probably sell those separately though. Sorry for the sideway visual here. Rookie mistake, but I would have cut this out, but I thought it was pretty important. We got some uh, cool CDs from Henry Mancini, a three CD set. Probably can get 10 plus shipping for that. I just like selling, you know, media like that. There's also a lot of uh, pretty interesting records, particularly Elvis. So we're going to get into that. First off, let me uh, get that all situated. First off, we have this kind of American flag, red, white, and blue John Wayne record. All these records, this lady who had this estate, she kept her stuff immaculate. Superman the movie, the album, not like a laser disc. This is the soundtrack to Raider of the Lost Ark. Harry Belafonte, not worth too much. I may or may not take that with me. Got a bunch of Elvis stuff. This is Mahalo from Elvis. We have another Elvis record. The Elvis records are probably like five to ten dollars a piece. I'm gonna lot them all up. They're in pristine condition. Ask 30 or 40 in the lot. And you know, at this time of year, it should sell no problem. This next one's really cool. Elvis via satellite. <laughs> Elvis, Aloha from Hawaii via satellite. Look at that 70s good. One thing you want to notice when you're at an estate, especially if you bought it out and you can just, you know, grab anything in here, or even if you're there and it's, you know, the first or second day, look at light switch covers. That is really cool vintage. I'm going to unscrew that and I'm going to sell it. There's a couple other cool ones. There also. you go. That's kind of a cool, you know, Centennial, probably 70s light switch cover. I love that kind of stuff. I don't know why. Lighting stuff is just really neat to me. When you do do buyouts like this or you're involved with buyouts, it does become a little bit overwhelming. They do have 10 days to get rid of most of this stuff. So I don't have to get it all today, but I want to give you an overview of what I'm looking at to take for eBay and also what I'm posting. I've already got like three or four things up. On Marketplace, somebody's already ask, asking about that buffet from earlier, so wish me luck. I'm going to put up this table set. It looks like there's five chairs. They wanted a hundred, I think, to move this quickly. Goodness. I'm going to have to be below a hundred. I'll let you know here in a, in a little what we asked for it, and hopefully we can get it pretty quick, but I think we can get 60 to 80 pretty quickly. And in every estate sale, known to man, unopened VHSC. Creaking down that mid-century modern vinyl staring all the way down to their basement here. Got some really cool, a lot of man cave stuff down here. We got a lot of cool audio equipment from the 60s and 70s. Some more furniture for me to post quite a bit. Not quite as nice as the stuff upstairs, but still postable, still sellable. Um, we have those little trinket uh, shelves right there. There's some more DVDs on the left. Plateware, for the most part, I'm going to stay away from. These are all pretty much sealed, or at least... 70% of them. Some of the VHS is sealed. You know, that could or could not be good, but more than likely it's not going to be worth too much. Is this her husband's area, I think? I think so. Look at that dictionary right there. From the 50s. Grab it. Oh, oh, this is the new century one? Look how big it is. Yeah. <laughs> that would be heck to the freaking ship, dude. <laughs> ah, no, that's a, what do you call it? That's a book. Oh yeah, media. Media. Well, I knew that, but that's that is crazy. It's got cool artwork in it. Bet you it's ten pounds at least. Probably more. Fifteen. 
I'll look it up and see if we can't do something with it. They are cool store displays though. I'd say, I'd say definitely 80s. Zebra, Pilot Mark Lighter. I bet you they're worth 30 plus. Can we get them off the wall? Let's do it. Antique Apple Watch. That's crazy. Ten, so long, uh, 10 bucks. Welcome back to the eBay Thunderdome. We sold two items so far. Just today, I just heard about this estate like four or five hours ago. Already sold two pieces of furniture. One for 150 a buffet. And one for, it was $60. It was a white metal bench. Now we get half of that, so 100 And the other 100 goes to the estate sale, guys. Not bad at all. I'm going to go back tomorrow. I'll have some more footage and another video for you by tomorrow or the next day at the latest. But it should be tomorrow that I'll have that done. Pretty exciting stuff. Gathering eBay stuff, as you saw there in the video. Um, and I'm going to keep gathering, keep gathering, find as much uh, stuff that we can make some money on as possible. It's all 50-50. Really, really a lot of fun. I love the business model myself. Uh, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any comments or questions, let me know. Please like and subscribe. And if you saw anything I missed, if you saw anything I missed, let me know, please, please.